Saint. I love this town. It's absolutely spectacular. Always helps when you've got a sky like that. And everything seems iridescent in the sunshine. These old cobbled streets, shuttered buildings, just really beautiful. Just get a good feeling about this town. These little courtyards, look at that. Little cobbled courtyard, cobbled stone courtyard. Little nooks and crannies, lanterns and some kind of vine growing there. And the sunlight pouring out over the roof of that building there. Another very impressive building. It's a museum. The Musée Dupi Mestro or something like that. There's a vet at the end of the street. You're right on the back there, OG. Any problems? Anything we need to know about? No problems with your uh, your toenails, your feet, your paws. Everything all right? Good. Okay, we'll give the vet a miss then. So some kind of museum in a very grand building, and we've got typical. I come and stand here, and there's nothing been here. Where are you going? Oh, someone turning around. It's all right. sunlight reflects off the white stone. I think Sant has soared into my top three. Oh, it's a difficult one though, you see I really liked Blois, but Poitiers and Saint-Omer I think along with uh, Sant have it for me. See, it's not just about the way a town looks. It's something to do with the vibe that you get when you're there. I think that's really important. And I passed through Sant on the train when I was heading down to Biarritz to get a plane back for Dad's wedding. And uh, had to wait three hours or so for a connecting train down to Bordeaux. And just as I sat there, I just felt really, really, really content. It was nothing to do with the glass of Heineken I had on the table in front of me. I just felt really positive and content. And having come back here, now I didn't look around the town that day. I just sat and waited for the train. I thought, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to look around a town that I'm, I've yet to walk into. So now I've walked into it. I've earned the right to look around it. That's the way I kind of, uh, I'm viewing it. And. Um, just the same thing, such a warm welcome yesterday from a chap called Alain at the refuge who um, went through the list of regulations and all the things I had to do and things I had to turn on and turn off and learn the word for shutters as well and make sure those were closed when I left this morning and put the key back in the letterbox and all that kind of malarkey. You see you go round a corner and there we go, there's another, that's the cathedral, Saint Pierre. I believe. So, uh, just all this classical look, old stone and shutters and cobbled streets and sunlight and then you just stumble across an, an artisan boulangerie, pick up your pano razor for the, for the morning. But um, yeah, I had such a warm welcome and really enjoyed my evening in the refuge um, and this is just simply gorgeous simply wonderful so lanterns right let's go and have a look in this cathedral Saint Pierre. A 
course, the other wonderful thing about this town, it's not one of these towns that kind of sprawls out forever and ever and has loads of suburbs and a huge industrial zone. I mean, it has some light industry on the on the edge where some of the bigger stores are and things like that. Of course it does, but it's a it's pretty contained. You look on the map and it's more or less a circle. And around it, it's just the most stunning countryside. Just little lanes and hamlets and farm dwellings, parcels of agricultural land, with some of the most fertile soil in the country. Size of some of the vegetables that I've seen piled up at the side of allotments. Just unbelievable. So this is Saint-Pierre, the Cathedral of Saint-Pierre. Just another little plaza here. So yeah, I think you get the general impression and that is I like Saint a lot. <laughs> Steady on. <laughs> we <laughs> I just tripped over that. I like I said I like Sant a lot. And I just walked right into one of those uh, one of those bollards and stumbled across the street. I only nearly got run over. I like Sant a lot. Oh god, I was squashed. <laughs> oh prize pillock. Oh dear, that must have been a 